Hi, this is Alexis from the Wing Surfer Magazine. I'm here at the Cabrina booth with Brendan, Hood River, AWSI, a little bit of rain, but definitely a lot of wind, and a really, really, really cool wing. <laughs> All right, that's right. Thanks for having us, guys. So here we are, 2021 AWSI, Hood River, Oregon. Um, we're here with the, I uh, just wanted to introduce the X3 to you guys. This is our new kind of free ride crossover handheld wing for uh, for our fall Zero One collection. Um, this is fresh off the press, brand new, just launched it literally two days ago. Um, for a little bit more in-depth information, head over to Cabrina.com. You can find all the specs there. But um, in the meantime, just wanted to run you through this thing because it's got some pretty cool innovations I think you all will be pretty fired up on. Um, just to start off, again, you know, this is this is number three really in our X-Series um, evolution. So kind of building on all the lessons we've learned from the original Crosswing, the Crosswing X2, now the Crosswing X3, using a little bit of technology and uh, refinement from the Mantis as well. So now we're Offering two full wing lines, being the Mantis and the Crosswing X3. Um, so anyway, getting into the uh, getting into the specs and a little bit of uh, the features of this bad boy. So what we've done for um, for the X3 versus the X2 is quite a bit, honestly. Starting with the leading edge, we've really beefed up the um, leading edge diameter quite a bit, um, and it really just helps to stiffen up the overall frame. So I think when you feel this, when you fly this thing, you'll feel right away that it almost feels like you're just flying like a rigid wing. It's super, super stiff. So obviously that was a, a huge improvement over the um, over the X2, honestly. Um, we We've introduced some new handles on this thing, so we're sticking with the two two hard, firm handles rather than the boom. Um, we think it just gives you a little bit more control. It's easier to pack up, easier to travel with. Um, a little bit less to think about. Yeah, very, very simple, straightforward. But the handles are super stiff. You know, the whole thing, as I mentioned, just feels like just rock solid in your hands. So, you know, no real need for the boom in this thing. Um, the one super cool feature about this thing, the X3, what we've done, you know, we, we've stayed with the uh, the overall characteristics of the X series and with the double inflated strut. Um, and what we've done this time around is obviously you see the windows on these things. Every one of these wings comes standard with windows. And we've actually Actually, with the double strut, we've been able to put a window straight in the center of the strut itself. So the visibility on this thing is just unreal. It's like nothing else in the market really out there. So really anywhere you're going, any way you're flying it, you can see literally straight through the strut, through your wind, through your window. So it opens up the visibility. If you're riding in a relatively crowded place, um, just a little bit more safe, you know, definitely a safety feature for sure. Um, in terms of sizing, we have nine total sizes on this bad boy, so literally a little bit of everything, from two meters all the way up to seven meters. Um, actual sizes are two, 2.5, three, 3.5, four, 4.5, five, six, seven. So plenty, plenty of options for everybody. Um, every single size comes with Windows standard. There are no non-window options, and every single size comes with options of three colors. So you have yellow, green, and red. So whatever your preference is, I think you'd be pretty fired up with this thing. Um, well, let's talk a little bit more about the canopy shape and design. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. That's big. Everybody wants to know about that. Like, well, what does it look like? I'm right, like, right. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, a big feature this time what we've gone around with is the panel layout specifically. Um, we're using a radial layout as opposed to just, you know, traditional cross-cut um, yeah, rectangular panels. More. So see these kind of triangular panels that come down? the canopy from the uh, leading edge to the trailing edge. What that really does, as opposed to using, you know, rectangular panels, um, this radial layout is a, uh, it's kind of like, it's a design feature that's used a lot in sailing. And what it does is it just, it basically brings all the stretch and the, you know, the load points to a single point, which is the trailing edge of the strut. So what that does is it, it gives you a longer lasting wing over time. It holds its shape considerably better. Keeps it firmer. Exactly. It keeps it better. Nobody likes saggy. No way. <laughs> It's not going to bag out over time, you know, um, we're going to give you something that's going to be, it's going to last a long time, it's going to hold that initial performance out of the bag for, for you know, a much, much, much longer lasting wing. Now let's talk about the leading edge and the contour up to the end of the wing tips. Totally, yep, totally. So what we've done with the X3, you know, it, in comparison to the Mantis really, the Mantis is more of a high aspect wing, the X3 has these kind of squared off, uh, you know, wing tips here. And, you know, as we said, this is positioned more for like an all round, all purpose, all surface kind of wing. So if you want to use it on a skateboard, on a snowboard, on on ice, um, you're not going to be hitting your wing tips on the water if you're using it on land or different surfaces. If you're a smaller rider, 
if you have smaller hands, you're a little shorter, sorry, small, smaller arms, hands more really matter, um, you're not going to be hitting your wingtips on the water quite as well. Yeah, I'm short. It's, it's a height challenge here. Right there with you, bro. Not <laughs> this thing's great for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> not bad. So, yeah, that is, um, those are basically the biggest features of the, uh, of the X3 in, in general. Um, as we mentioned, you know, super tight canopy on this thing, super, super stiff. We're just, we're really fired up with the way it came out. No, you mentioned you have two wings in the line. We do, yep. So two complete line range of wings is again the Crosswing X3 now and the Mantis. Okay, and let's talk about that other wing. Yeah, totally. So the Mantis is, um, we had, that was launched in January, so again, it's been around the block a little bit, but um, that's more catered for our surf, you know, kind of surf clientele. Um, again, it is a little bit more high aspect, so it's a little bit more kinetic energy. You know, you have to pump it to get going a little bit, but once you get going, the thing is a super flat canopy, so it's super efficient. Um, you see a lot of guys in Hood River out here riding that thing. You know, we showed up last week and there were probably 20 or 30 of them out in the water. So yeah, it seems to be it seems to be a well-liked product for sure. Awesome. So now we're here with this beautiful bamboo wing foil board. That's right, right. Yeah, this is a um, this is a new product for us for Cabrina for the uh, for our fall collection launch, which just dropped literally two days ago on the seventh. So any information, extra extra specs you want to hear about, head on over to Cabrina.com and we, you can get the full rundown there. But in the meantime, we'll give you a little you'll check this thing out here. Um, so this is called the Code, and that is this is our second real wing specific board in our lineup. The first one being the Macro that was launched in um, in January of 2021. So the Code, this is um, it's a, it's just a more modern shape versus the Macro. You know, some similar features, some different features. Um, as we've gone through the you know the sport's been around and evolved a little bit over the past year, we've just added those. We've seen what works in the market, what works in the water, and we pile them into this board here. I see the bamboo construction. What's what, just besides the bamboo and it looking beautiful? I don't even want to use this thing. I want to hang it on my wall. <laughs> yeah, the nice thing about bamboo, you know, these days sometimes there are material shortages. Um, bamboo, it's it's literally a weed. So if we run out of bamboo, we got bigger problems on our wingboard supplies for sure. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about the shape, the outline. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. You know, we've gone with um, some pretty aggressive chines throughout, and really everything is kind of geared towards, you know, releasing from the water, whether that's in marginal conditions or on a touchdown from foiling. Um, we just want to make sure that this board just pops back up from the foil as quickly as possible. So if you kind of look down the rails, you'll see this, these like super aggressive chines on the rail. Um, again, just hard angular surfaces seem to release in the water much easier. Um, one thing we've also added into this board is these, uh, these tail cutouts back here right around the tracks um, again just kind of positioned more towards less wetted surface get the board up out of the water a little much 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 boom, boom, less boom effort up. from the wing exactly exactly super simple there's six total sizes um, 4 8 all the way up to uh, 5 8 and ranging from 58 liters up to 118 liters now uh, moving on to the most important part of the board is actually the foil itself right Yep, these are our brand new for this season. Again, for the fall collection, 01 fall collection. These are our high efficiency wings that we've just released. Um, we're super stoked with the way these came out. This has been a year, uh, basically a little over a year in the works between our, uh, our Cabrita Design Works and um, kind of a collaboration with Kiahi de Aboides and a lot of our team riders being Evan Nash, Damian Leroy, um, Lucas Arsenal, and Tyson Poor. So we're, we're super stoked with the way these came out. They're they're unbelievable. Rock solid. And, and how many different sizes uh, and medium, low, high? Yeah, all high aspect. Four different sizes. We have a 1200, a 1000, an 800, and a 650. Okay. So a little bit of something for everybody. Full carbon uh, uh, in aluminum or just full carbon? So for as far as the wings go, the high efficiency wings themselves, full carbon, no core, just solid throughout. Um, full pre-preg. Again, we have there's it's similar to our previous offerings, we have the wing integrated into the fuselage just for added stiffness, you know, trying to maximize that connection. And mass sizes? Mass sizes in carbon, right now we have a, um, a 70 and an 80 centimeter. We do have some aluminum options as well to hit that price point, um, available in a 70 and 90 centimeter. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, sir. It's been awesome. I mean, great looking products. Go out and see your retailer. Yep. Find out more at Cabrina.com.